you look looking live at Siesta Key Main Beach here in Siesta Key, Florida. Water's pretty cold. No one is swimming. Watercolor looks much better. I'm watching seagulls dive, diving in for minnows today. It's always a positive sign. But as you can see, people are bundled up in sweatshirts. Um, myself, I'm, I'm just wearing a, a really cool t-shirt. <laughs> but it is a little chilly out here. I think the high is only supposed to be in the low 60s. It might be 60 right now. And that's that's pretty cool for Florida. I, you know, as I've shown you, there's a lot of people wearing sweatshirts. I've seen people wearing winter jackets. That's a little exaggerated, I think, but it's not that bad. I mean, heck. I've got shorts and I'm barefooted. The sand's a little cold. It's not too bad. But it just makes you walk faster <laughs> while you're walking on the beach. Quick shout out to everyone that's joining here. I gotta stop so I can read it. Uh, Marnie, Lampa, Nisha, Linda, Michelle, Valerie, Joyce, Sandy, Jeanette, Kirk, Amy, David, Kenneth, Carol, Deborah, Jessica, Eva. And I'm gonna say good morning to everyone joining in here in sunny Florida. Where that's about all it is. It's sunny. You can't tell how cold it is. <laughs> But then again, it's a lot colder. It's all relative. I was just looking. My daughter's in up upstate New York and it's supposed to be a low of negative nine tomorrow. So, yeah, I hope she stays nice and warm up there. And if you're watching, hon, come on down anytime you want. Um, so yeah, today's, uh, today was the first day a week ago that I started my diet. And uh, we got back from the Waves of Light cruise that we were speakers at uh, yesterday, uh, a week from yesterday, and then we started dieting the following day. So it's been one full week. I've lost 12 pounds, and exactly 12 pounds in seven days. So I'm sticking to the diet. I was going to go on the 10 grams of saturated fat or less diet, but I figured, okay, well, I'm doing so well on this diet, I'll give it another week and we'll see what happens. So that's where I am on that. We're moving forward on our new project, N5D TV. And I'm in the process of allocating Zoom software. And we're gonna start doing videos on Zoom, thus bypassing Facebook and YouTube's censorship. So as I mentioned also before, we're gonna be looking for hosts. So if you're interested in possibly hosting a show on N5D TV via Zoom, and it'll be hosted on N5D, so no censorship. We're going to be looking for a number of hosts to uh, join us, so keep that in mind. It's going to be down the road. It's not going to be immediate. This is going to take a while to get going. Uh, there's a lot of content I'm going to be uploading to that as well. Um, I've got like right now, and I'm just cracking the tip of the iceberg I probably have like probably 350 to 400 topics that I'm going to be doing videos on uh, updated uh, I got a green screen coming tomorrow I've got software that can uh, handle that so we're gonna have fun backgrounds and I have a uh, new software that you know screen capture so software that can do picture-in-picture -picture and show graphics while I'm talking uh, what else oh uh, whiteboard software that will add a different twist and dimension to our presentation. So I'll be releasing a few of these things on YouTube, but for the most part, many of them will be on N5DTV.com. Well, N5DTV, uh, and you can visit that on N5D.com. So it's really exciting. Like I said, you know, we've seen the crap that I've gone through and so many other people have gone through with censorship both on Facebook and on YouTube and so we're just saying screw it <laughs> we're bypassing that we're gonna do something that's completely unique and different from the ordinary and you know if there's people out there that are interested in this let me know um, what else have we got going that's about it I noticed the uh, Schumann resonance 
let me uh, get the picture off me. I'll show you guys the beautiful beach. I noticed the Schumann residence had a spike earlier today, maybe about seven or eight hours ago. It looked like it lasted for probably two or three hours. So if you woke up on the East Coast around seven o'clock, all between five and seven, that's when it was basically peaking. Today's high pitch frequency is a C sharp. A C sharp is a half step above a C. It's one of those cusp frequencies. It's a half step above a C and a half step below the D major. And so what, what, it, what it is, is it's a frequency that covers both the root and sacral chakras. So our first two chakras, it's, it's being covered within those. Uh, so just basic needs and uh, sexuality, relationships you could probably throw in there. Uh, stuff like that, you might find um, an uptick in activity in those areas. So it's just something to look out for. So who else has joined us since then? If you have any questions, ask away. Let me see if I can catch up on everyone here. Danielle's saying it's 20 degrees in Syracuse, yeah. See, I consider that Western New York. Uh, some people consider Buffalo upstate, but you know, once you get past like I don't know, Utica. <laughs> That's Western New York. Yeah, it is better than that. Uh, go Orange Men. <laughs> uh, thank you, Bethany. Quick shout out to Maria and Erica, Jordan and Andrea, Cheryl, Heather, Leigh, Vicky, and anyone else that I always somehow miss. Just grateful that we could all be here right now. I know it's 33. It's a great number. 33 people are joining in right now. It's a master number. Alex is asking how warm is it there? I can only tell you in degrees and <laughs> not Celsius, but it's about 60, 60 I'd say. And uh, unless people are moving, like you can see these people there, person's got a uh, winter jacket on in the blue. So yeah, it's, it's warm, that person over there. I didn't have the camera facing the right way um, in the blue over there. saying that she's being shadow banned too hardly seeing any of my posts yeah and you know that's it's not just you Deborah. all of us are getting that you know and honestly I should have way more than 30 people viewing this right now but you know since since they started shadow banning me it, my, my numbers went way down same thing on YouTube you know I've got hundred and I don't know 45,000 followers there but any given video might only get seen, I don't know, one to 3,000 times. So we're getting shadow banned everywhere. And that's why we're moving up and beyond YouTube and Facebook to something different. And uh, ideally, what the vision is, is to have programming, ultimately, 24 hours a day. Something going on at every hour. And that's why we're going to be looking for hosts all around the world. So, you know, people here... In, you know, in, uh, in the United States, maybe if they had a show on at 11, that'd be 2 o'clock in the morning here. But if there was somebody in Europe that had a show on at 5 o'clock in the morning or 7 o'clock in the morning, it'd be like a 4 or 5 hour difference. And who knows? So that, we're just shooting for that. And maybe on some of the dead time, we're going to have so many shows going on. Overall, we could just put replays on as well. As well as everyone having their own channel too where you can go to uh, different channels of whoever it is that you like following and check out their entire content so it's, it's really exciting to move away from YouTube and Facebook in that manner of course we're still gonna be posting on both of them uh, probably not as much on YouTube though and uh, articles yeah on Facebook but videos we'll be doing a uh, zoom live zoom videos 
and uh, people can join us there and I'll give everyone a heads up before we start doing those videos. So Jackie in Switzerland saying that her and her husband have been sleeping the last two days. You know what, Jackie, yesterday, especially, um, at least here, almost 24 hours ago, it was probably though around 11 o'clock Eastern time here. I'm not sure what that would be there. Maybe about four o'clock in the afternoon there in Switzerland. But yesterday, you know, I, I slept well the night before and I woke up, I don't know, around seven or so, but by 11, bam, just got slammed. And I had to take a nap and I ended up taking like a four hour nap. So, you know, thank you, Jackie, for bringing that up. I'm curious if anyone else was slammed yesterday, late morning, early afternoon. Uh, did you have this, even after having a good night's sleep, did you have this incredible urge to sleep again because well there's two of us right there and uh, I'm grateful for Jackie bringing that up <clears throat> Maria is saying there's polar vortex temperatures here in Wisconsin I believe it yeah they got that polar vortex coming down so much for Al Gore's global warming <laughs> right <laughs> Bethany's asking will there be more parrots I don't know it I guess it depends on will Doreen Virtue put out more articles if so yes <laughs> what the fuck Actually, it's funny you mentioned that too because I'm going to be incorporating a lot of fun in, into my videos and I'm going to be taking time and making them into something much greater than what they have been in the past. So look forward to some of these videos. I will be releasing a few of them on, on YouTube uh, to give you guys an idea of the production quality and uh, I'm going to step it up. I'm, I'm going to raise the bar big time on this and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, basically covering a lot of topics that we already have on N5D, but it's updated to the, to the day, to the year, to the month. Uh, a lot of new information came up since I've, I put out a lot of this information. And so we're going to update it to the day. And it's going to be pretty cool. Plus, I said, the graphics, everything is going to be above and beyond. So I hope you guys enjoy that. So here's Heather bringing up about super deep sleep and lots of dreams. Yeah, definitely the dreams, very intense. Had a dream yesterday after I took that nap, yesterday afternoon of being on this huge cruise liner and it was taken off from some little island. And I could see somebody swimming toward the boat and I didn't know if they were just swimming out on the island or if they missed the boat and I was trying to find you know, somebody that worked on the ship to uh, see if everybody boarded the ship on time. But of course, you know, the ship was something much different. It was a, you know, it's a metaphor <laughs> for something that flies. Uh, so I thought that was interesting. And ultimately it's basically showing me that I don't want to leave anyone behind and I'm concerned about everyone. So yeah, tell me about some of your dreams. Vicky's saying it's 28 degrees there. Snow where Alex is. Quick shout out to Robin and Patrick. There's some dude fishing up in front of me. everywhere <laughs> thank you Maria I love putting the parrots in there <laughs> they really uh, summed up exactly how I felt about Doreen Virtue and her huge 180 degree turn basically saying that everything you find in interesting 
is gonna send you to hell in a handbasket. And I just don't buy that. Something happened. I don't know if she was co-opted. Um, if this was all MK Ultra right from the, the beginning or if it was planned from the beginning for her to bring on so many people and then convert to Christianity to bring them all over to that, knowing that we are entering the new age. Uh, maybe she's maybe she left. Maybe she's just an NPC right now. I don't know. But a lot of it didn't add up. I mean, everything that we believe in, well, most of us believe in, um, she listed as being essentially Luciferian <laughs> and that you need to give your power away in order to be saved. So um, I wish her love and luck. Good luck, Doreen. I, and I mean that. I'm just not going to follow anything she says anymore. Yes, humor is great medicine. That's why I want to bring in levity into these videos. You're going to learn a lot, and it's going to bring in, like I said, a 2019 twist onto everything. But it's, there's going to be levity. There's going to be humor. Uh, so, really looking forward to that. So Penny's saying she's been hearing a high-pitched frequency the last couple of days. Oh, I'm... Penny, I hear it 24-7. I, I think, I don't remember a time when I didn't hear it. I remember having the hearing tests in grade school and I would hear them before they even had the earbuds in me or the headphones on me. So I know I've had that all my life. I hear them right now. I just kind of block them out as I do the rest of my working day. And I know there's a lot of people that hear them at the same time. If there's a pitch change, for example, a lot of people hear them at the same time that I've heard them. Because I've been in, in an interview recently and everyone else, a lot of people, not everyone, but a lot of people heard the same shift in pitch frequency during the interview. It was really cool. It's affirmation. But like I said, in the articles that I put out, not everyone's going to hear them. Some people feel them. I... Eric Rains' uh, partner, Sierra, smells them. <laughs> so you never know. Uh, but they are going on. And maybe not everyone hears the same tone, but a lot of us do. And perhaps some people hear other tones or frequencies. I'm just reporting what the majority of us are hearing. Those of us that can't hear them. So Penny's saying that she's having the same dream. That's kind of like Groundhog Day. <laughs> you know, you wake up and Sunny and Cher is on the radio and it's cold outside. Yeah. Robin's saying you've kind of taken off since your cruise, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, there was, there was, it was great doing that cruise. Awesome meeting so many uh, awakened people on the boat. And uh, things have really started shaping up. You know, since I got back, I got the, uh, the whole hacking thing cleared up on the N5D Facebook page. That's cleared up and we're moving forward in so many different ways right now. Um, just expanding N5D as great as it is, it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> And it's going to take a few months, and I'm, but I'm really looking forward to all the work that I'm going to be putting into it, and uh, I'm sure you guys will enjoy it too. Yeah, Deborah. Deborah says the sound of the waves is awesome. I love that too. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys this. I tried out some. It's a plasma healing technology and it's ideal for people with sciatica which I have and I've had it on both sides of my body I got rid of one side through the John of God bed um, when I had a session up in uh, upstate New York but the other side I'm having issues with and I tried the John of God bed once down here and it helped alleviate it a little but it didn't eradicate it like the session I had in upstate New York. So I tried this plasma healing device and 
what you do is you sit on it and uh, it's kind of like it's in the shape of your back and then there's a seat and then it goes down like that for the back of, the, of your legs. So I did that this morning while, after I woke up and I was working on the website and I only did it for maybe an hour. But today I'm walking much, much further than I've walked any day before that after using that. Uh, so I'm already seeing results after only using it for an hour today. So, you know, I'm, I'm not going to say exactly what it is until I actually test this, this thing out for a few days and continue to notice improving results. And at that point, I'll tell you exactly what the product is and where you can find it. But until then, you know, if, especially for anyone that has sciatica, you know that it's excruciating. You know, for me, I, some people, they, they get the sciatica sitting down and they have to stand up. For me, it's the other way around. If I'm standing up, it compresses my L3, L4 even more. And I have to squat down and stretch everything out in order to alleviate the pain. But yeah, I've walked, well, we were way down there. <laughs> you see that big, tall, square building? Well, we were in front of that. But some point and squat down and stretch my legs but we've been talking live ever since that point and I was walking actually up until that point <laughs> so it's been going on for quite a while that I'm okay my, my back's okay and I feel good Penny saying that her high-pitched frequencies are in both ears that's good there's an equal balance of past life lives Current life, divine masculine, divine feminine. That's perfect. Oh, you're welcome, Robin. Robin's thanking me for sharing the walk. She's spending much time alone in Kauai, downloading new energy, yet it gets isolating and easy to forget what I'm doing. Kauai is beautiful. Uh, someday I'd love to make it out to Hawaii. I've never been there. I <laughs> just can't afford it. Stacy LeClaire, the most awakened dentist in Florida and probably all of the United States, has joined us. Hi, Stace. Hi, Skylar. Hopefully, uh, Stacy, your daughter, will be uh, joining us as a host on our N5D TV. Hopefully she has some great topics to, to talk about. What's great is uh, Stacy contacted me. Uh, she has a daughter that's awake and, uh, and, and is interested in having a show. So, you know, we're definitely looking for young people as well. Her, her daughter is early 20s, I believe. Something like that. How old is she, Stace? But yeah, that, that age category is great because uh, there are a lot of... of uh, I call them kids. They're young adults. You know, my daughter's still a kid and she's 24. I'd love for her to have a show. But yeah, it's great to have, see uh, kids like that that are awake and aware and ready to put their face out there. So yeah, let me uh, let me know and I'll keep you in, in uh, I'll keep you in mind as well. As soon as we get everything up and going, um, I'll try to reach out to you, give you a shout on the phone or something. Uh, Le Lepether, Lepether is asking what I think about Marianne Williamson announcing her candidacy, candidacy for president. <laughs> um, at face value, it sounds great, but I, I watched her candidacy video, and she is pushing like some of the left agenda, which I'm not crazy about. Um, so. Yeah. I, I love her work, you know, but then again, I liked Dorian Virtue's work before she went crazy on us. <laughs> so we'll have to see. Um, her platform is still kind of shaky and uh, really, uh, there's not enough structure yet to really say one way or the other. <laughs> Sky
Skyler saying, greetings from snowy, freezing Toronto. Teleport me, please. <laughs> Bam. Well, didn't work. <laughs> okay, Marla's saying, is that Marla? Marla or Maria? Can't tell, it looks like Maria. 24 seven frequencies for me too. Sometimes more than one at a time. Yes, yes. It's actually pretty cool. Yes, I, I get that. I totally get that. Because sometimes when I'm trying to figure out the high pitch frequency of the day, I'll hear a G and a C at the same time, layered on, on each other. I totally get that. Yes. Huh. <laughs> Desiree saying, yes, been having floating ship dreams. This is how far behind I am in chat. <laughs> I think I talked about that like way down there. <laughs> Let me skip ahead here a little. Uh, Jody's asking if I've seen any shells along the way. Not like I was seeing yesterday and the day before. Um, there are shells here, nothing like those, those cool conch-like shells that I saw the other day. I didn't see one. But when you come out this late, usually the, the beach is pretty well picked of all the cool shells because a lot of people get out here early, like seven, eight o'clock in the morning. You'll see people with bags. Just walking up and down and picking all the shells up. I did see some over here uh, that somebody put aside for just people walking by. Uh, Penny's asking, do you feel there's a connection between the frequencies and incoming Nibiru system. No, not at all. Um, it's very well possible that Nibiru is causing the climatic changes on all of the planets in our solar system, but that could also be caused by the incoming energy waves. Uh, it's hard to say. Even my guts telling me is not, don't even worry about Nibiru. Uh, that's just something that, even if it passes, it's gonna be so far above us or below us, it's not even gonna make a difference. And I don't even think it's gonna happen in our lifetime, so, not feeling that. I know that, gosh, maybe 10 years ago, I was really into the, uh, Nibiru, studying it, not necessarily believing that it was going to come here, but the probability was higher back then than it is now, and the more I research it, more I think, no, it's not gonna happen. So just keep focusing on the positive things that are going on and uh, don't bring that into your own reality. Yeah, Patricia, the water looks so much better. You know, it's not that brown root beer colored that we saw earlier this year. I'm seeing seagulls diving in. Got just remnants of chemtrails out there, but overall not too bad. Uh, pretty clear skies. So I'm gonna leave it off at that. Just a quick update about everything that's going on. Exciting news about N5D TV, kind of bypassing Facebook and YouTube and the censorship, uh, all the new software and things that I'm buying, the green screen, um, the whiteboard software, the screen, the picture-in-picture -picture software where I can actually talk and show you demonstrations and stuff on the side. A lot of new things are coming up on N5D, so uh, stay tuned. Going to be looking for more hosts for N5D TV down the road. And I'll keep you guys up to date on all this. So until the next time, I'm sending you all infinite love and light. My name is Greg Prescott from N5D.com. Peace.